Hello everyone and welcome back to week three of the 30 plants per week challenge. I am Kate. So first I'm going to show you the groceries that I bought this week. I'm really happy with the variety there. And so in the video though, I do want to clarify. I'm like, I don't know if it's a plum or a a nectarine or a peach. Anyway, I did buy a peach and a nectarine. <laughs> I, I did have a plum on there, but I guess I took it off. Um, but to clear that up in the video. So we're gonna watch me unpacking my Walmart order. Welcome to week three of my 30 plants per week challenge. Here are the plants for this week. And I'm not gonna count them because we all know I don't keep tally very well. So, just to show the plants, Ooh. cherries, strawberries, and I did do better to buy like a smaller quantities. We've got bananas, cantaloupe. a nectarine, Roma tomatoes. Uh, it might be a plum. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a peach and that's a plum. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I know I bought one of each. We have mixed nuts and the deluxe one, right? So we're looking for the one that has a lot of variation, the almonds, the cashews, the hazelnuts, the pecans, and the peanuts to get, what is that? One, two, three, four, five additional plants into your diet. These eggs, I highly recommend you check them out. I feel better about eating these eggs. Apparently the chickens like roam free on eight acres, like I, and they get sun, <laughs> okay, that's a big deal. So I would check out this brand. Oh my God, I bought some stuff from the refrigerated section. So we have just a spring mix lettuce that I plan on making salad with. Check out these fun carrots, the multicolors there. I plan on adding these to soup again this week. And I love cabbage and apparently they know that because check out the size of this cabbage. By the way, this was a Walmart delivery order. We have some mushrooms. And I have yet to make the Greek relish. So I did buy an English cucumber. Lots of the plants I bought. We have some blueberries, high in fiber, and kiwis, yum. So here we have the plants I intend to eat along with the rest of the plants from the previous week, such as the four different onions, some of these tomatoes. So just incorporating the leftovers from last week's, uh, well, actually that was two weeks ago, <laughs> but into this week, just wanted to share this week, week three of my 30 plants per week. Um, and what I'm going to be eating throughout week three with you all. Thank and then just a few of the meals that I did eat throughout the week. I did treat myself this week to a dark chocolate covered strawberry. And of course, starting the week out with an omelet. And inside it had bell pepper, the petite medley tomatoes, mushrooms topped with avocado. And if you're wondering more soup ingredients, you are correct. We've got some yellow onion, garlic, bell pepper, green onion, and those beautiful multicolored carrots there or a variety of colorful carrots there some celery and then all cooked together here added some cabbage rice um, some frozen green beans carrots corn and peas but check out the color of the soup it's purple and of course, salads are a great option when eating out to get your plants in, but so are nachos, I've learned. Check out the jalapenos, tomatoes, the black olives. We have the green onion on there as well. And of course, the salsa too. My strawberries have become chocolate-covered strawberries. My son Javier must have made them. I 
to just state like week three um, has just been like emotional and a challenge for my mental health, <laughs> just in general. Um, like just not motivated to do anything and dealing with anxiety and depression essentially and other issues. And so week three really did consist of a lot of eating out. And I think just trying to find comfort within those foods and really not even like, usually I'll try to opt to get like veggies or salad. And I did that maybe once or twice. Um, but the other reason is because let's check out the list and see where I was at for week three. And as you can see, I did eat just over 30 different plants this week. But keep in mind, I am pretty certain I ate more than that. Again, just not having motivation. I my intention was let me at least track what I need to track. Let me know I've hit my goal. And then I just rested in a sense with trying to keep track of stuff. So I am sure I probably ate more. I gave up counting after I hit my 30. I said, okay, I'm good. Um, it did take me longer this week to hit that 30. I did not do it within two days like I did during week two. So this week was really stretched out. Another thing I wanted to touch base on, I know I had mentioned in the week two video, um, or week one, just wanting to see like how my stomach feels after eating like this for a couple weeks. So last week, my stomach was great. It was fine. This week, it was also great. It was fine until Sunday evening um, when I ate a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> and I mean, granted, I've ate other crap this week. And so I was really surprised to see my stomach hurting so bad after eating that burrito. And again, I'm not attributing it to that. I'm just saying that that's what I ate and my stomach started to hurt. I even went to their website and come to find they only use a total of 57 ingredients like in the whole restaurant unless they serve breakfast, which I didn't know Chipotle did that, but apparently maybe some locations do. Anyway, so I was really shocked to see the impact that that had on my stomach. But again, I know that anxiety can have an impact on my tummy as well. So a few different factors I'm sure played into that. Um, but up until that point, I had not had stomach issues for essentially like two weeks and bowel movements had been great again until Sunday. And then I don't know what happened, um, but it was not feeling good. And it did occur the majority of the day um, after eating that burrito. So just wanted to update with that stuff as well. Still not drinking coffee regularly, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, and then also looking to make some more serious changes coming up here as well. And I may share <laughs> what that'll be, we'll see. But stay tuned if you're interested and certainly stay tuned to see what we're doing for week four and what we plan on eating throughout week four of the 30 plants per week challenge. Thank you all so much for watching and engaging with my channel.